So why can't you do it? Take the risk or lose the opportunity if you don't start today. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is currently like 9 p.m. at night, which is why I'm wearing my gown. And it's pretty cold in London these days. But I wanted to come here today and just film this video because I am attempting to stretch my hair. One of my previous videos, I was asking you guys to give me advice, tips on how I can stretch my hair and keep it stretched, yeah? And um, many, many, like so, so many people, probably all of you said um, African threading. So I'm going to be trying that tonight. But the thing is, I don't have the African thread that they always use. So I'm going to be using wool. I got wool. I don't know if it'll work. Um, I'm just hoping that it doesn't um, break or dry out my hair. But yeah, this is what I'm going to use. It's going to be pretty awkward because um, I literally have work at say 7 a.m. tomorrow morning and um i'm not about <laughs> i'm not about like going to work with my pond on my head so ooh, sham i have to i'll just have to like slap on a wig or something but anyway i hope you enjoy the video this is going to be a chat chat one because guys i've got a lot to talk to you about like yo <laughs> so i'm gonna start off by um just spritzing my hair with this basically what's in here is like water and i just you know the leave-in conditioner cream because i don't have um liquid leave-in conditioner i just took the um leave-in conditioner cream and mixed it with water and put it in a bottle like this so that's what i'm gonna do literally plain water guys not rice water <laughs> so i'm just gonna spray a bit of like conditioner on my hair to make it easy to like um you know separate and untangle because woo, hand tie <laughs> honey i want to start a mission not a mission but like a challenge to like literally retain length i want to make it a point to keep my hair stretched because i feel like that would be the only way i can realize certain growth because right now my hair is literally growing, but it obviously shrivels back down when I put water on it. So guys, um, like I said, <laughs> this is like a chit chat kind of video. I'm just gonna update y'all on the tea on what's been going on in your girl's life. It has been a roller coaster. Thing is with me, <laughs> I can't multitask. Okay, I can multitask, but I literally can't talk and do something. Huh? I don't even know what I'm saying. But <laughs> as you can see, I'm talking and I'm not doing my hair. And I, I, I struggle with that so much. But I'm going to try and like talk and do my hair at the same time. And hopefully it actually works out for me. I was just living in London for the year. So um i recently just moved back to canterbury this is for my final year of university why does it feel like i have a booger <sighs> sorry <laughs> okay i'm back guys i'm gonna be using coconut oil to i don't know to seal in or to moisturize my hair probably a sealing oil but like it really really does moisturize my hair so i'm gonna be using a lot of it on my hair today i finished work like end of july and um yeah i've been in canterbury ever since then and guys it has been so much of a roller coaster like not really a roller coaster i feel like you know when like i finished work and i was like Phew, yay one more month to rest before uni starts i can like you know do this do that but sis let me tell you it has been so i've been so overwhelmed guys like youtube has been youtube I, youtube has been a culprit it's been taking up most of my time but at the same time i feel like i didn't use my time my i'd say free time um in august properly i feel like i didn't i didn't maximize the time that i had before uni so 
as the days were passing by i was realizing that i'm running out of time meaning that when i go back to uni babes when uni starts you won't have time to youtube yourself <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna twist it like that and then oh guys nails make everything so complicated isn't it oh my gosh no damn it but anyway guys like i was saying i realized that i've run out of time and like that's stressing me out i have so many deadlines youtube deadlines that is there are so <laughs> there's so many wig reviews i have to do guys hey so i'm sorry i'm probably gonna bombard you with so many um different wig reviews in the weeks to come but bear with me i know that you guys prefer my natural hair videos instead but um you know for me i also enjoy wearing wigs to protect my hair like you know right now i'm stretching my hair but i'm obviously gonna pop on a wig on top of this to cover this <laughs> let me zoom out you guys get the gist of what i'm doing right i hope you don't mind i hope you just love seeing what rack stars <laughs> i am having a few breakouts on my face and i don't like it as you can see i'm having like just blemishes i'm having marks on my face is because of like all the pimples that i've been having look at this one right here i've spent literally two years with no pimples my skin was fresh without any marks okay without any scarring but now it's happening again i have reason to believe that it's the water here in canterbury because when when i was living in botswana i never used, i never really had problems with my skin until i moved to the uk and the first place i lived when i came to the uk was canterbury and um that's when like i started breaking out a lot more i like i started breaking out like i had full-on acne which is why i had to like go on roaccutane and then i got better then i went to london my skin was still okay and now i'm back in canterbury and the the moment i came back within a week i was already starting to get pimples i am trying by all means to drink as much water i'm failing guys i have a problem with drinking water back in may i really got i really got into the habit of drinking water because i had a health hazard when i went to bali i lost that again so i need to find my way back to drinking at least two liters of water every day that is how this one is looking i feel like this is probably the best one so far because there's literally no space look at this one this is so pathetic guys do you think i should do it again so guys i launched my very own um travel business back in july i am finally here to let you guys know about my travel business it has literally been a game changer for me when i was introduced to this opportunity of starting your own travel business it was like sis it's too good to be true like it's so good to be true but it was i was like during a period of my life where i was like you know what take the risk or lose the opportunity that's what i felt at the at the time because you know you feel like you're on your you're in your 20s guys when you're in like your 20s like i am i'm in my 20s and i feel like this is the only time that you get to mess up so if at all i get myself involved in something that is too risky and i lose out or whatever happens god forbid i still have time to actually like find my feet again rather than me um in my 40s taking that risk or whatever then then i i stand to lose everything that i own but what i'm trying to say is that i am in a position where i am just open to doing anything anything that um my heart desires this is part of the reason why i started youtube as well i literally put myself down sat myself down and like told myself babes why are you scared of starting a youtube channel you huh? like other people are doing it so why can't you do it take the risk or lose the opportunity if you don't start today somebody else is starting today and they are already getting subscribers or they're already getting a following 
babe so start so that's literally how i started mine so this is the same thing as my travel business i was like it was month and month of watching well my mentor literally just growing getting paid every single week every month and she document that on her instagram and i was literally always so inspired um i got on like opportunity calls and like everything just to find out if this thing was legit and your girl i was doing all my research guys i literally spent like i don't know probably two months so skeptical about this opportunity because some of the things that they were mentioning just seemed too good to be true but i was like you know what if it's too good to be true or if this is a scam or whatever it is let me go in there i'm already used to being scammed i feel like everything happens for a reason and god wouldn't put you through a difficult situation if he knows that you can't you he can't get you out of it so um in the end i decided to give it a shot i am now um an independent travel agent the reason why the, the like the major reason that i i decided to have my own travel business was um because it had the opportunity for me to um actually earn from my travels like if you don't know i am a travel fanatic i love to travel i feel like traveling just gives you a, a breath of fresh air a sense of tranquility it just I don't know it's so nice to like, go out there and see different places it just gives you a different perspective about life if you don't if you don't like traveling that sense it's like what, what are you doing with your life you haven't seen the other side of life which is so good it's literally wonderland this opportunity would literally offer me um commissions back from everything that i book from flights to hotels to transfer airport transfers to cruises to anything well i haven't booked cruises or anything for myself but what i'm saying is that if i was to book a cruise or like a ticket to go on to the shard or something any tourist attraction i will be able to gain a commission back from that booking so i was like oh wow okay what better way than to like travel and earn from that to me it seemed like <laughs> sis your one holiday you're gonna get a commission out of that and that commission will help you pay for your next holiday and that commission from that holiday will like pay for your next one and so on and so on if I'm gonna be able to get some access to um, suppliers around the world and work with like top name companies then okay okay sis tell me more I'm also able to like get the good deals for like people who want to like go somewhere for example i have a few clients that want to go to bali that want to go to maldives that want to go to paris and stuff like that all you do is to give me your budget and i'll sort out the rest babes i i i, I love it people are making moves on here i'm on here to actually experiment to see that okay in six months time would i be at the position where my other colleagues in the business are people are getting like ten thousand per month and stuff like that i know it sounds too good to be true but literally they are doing wonders you know i'm already experiencing i can feel i can feel it coming and it's amazing if there's anyone who is interested in knowing how i got um this opportunity and how whatever how i'm making it work and everything feel free to like send me a message on my dm like on my instagram i'll be happy to like introduce you or like put you on the opportunity call that really helped me it reassured me and everything i'm already thinking of um booking a trip to like milan italy in november i don't know i haven't finalized it yet. i might i might i'm just looking for a place to go I really want to go somewhere in november i'm looking for 10 people 10 people to join my lovely team i am building a team of you know driven like-minded individuals like myself male or a female i do not mind if you have the travel bug and you're interested in an opportunity of this if you're interested in earning an extra income alongside all your other commitments then definitely hit me up i will be in a position to help you at any time and get you started or like literally answer a few questions that you might have but yeah let me quit talking too much because otherwise i will not finish my head so i'm just gonna stop here i'm gonna stop talking and i'm just gonna finish my hair okay i don't know what i'm doing but guys it's that time of the night okay you know when they say it's that time of the day yeah for me 
Guys, it's so late. I'm tired. A few moments later. So, <laughs> hi. <laughs> I am finally done. And I am so tired. I feel like I've been exercising. Okay. I don't know. I tried to tame it and... <laughs> I will see you guys either tomorrow or the day after or I do not know when I'm gonna take these down but whenever I do I will come back here and film it and show you the grand finale and show you the results of how my hair looks on this after this attempted stretch for now toodles